Well, one of our top stories, he's called himself the crypto king, but police allege he's been living off of other people's money believed to be upwards of $40 million. Now, after a months-long probe, Aiden Platursky has been arrested and charged. Let's bring in our Tina Yazdani, was there for the update. Uh, Tina, can you get us up to speed on this investigation? Yeah, hi, Melanie. Hi, Faiza. We're outside Durham uh, Police Headquarters, where we just received a big update from police on this 16-month investigation into this uh, self-proclaimed crypto king. 25-year-old Aiden Klaterski, Klet as well as 27-year-old Colin Murphy, an alleged accomplice of Klaterski's, have both been arrested and charged, released on bail. Now, this investigation started in July 2022, when Durham Police began receiving complaints about investment fraud involving a man in the Whitby area. Through court documents, we've learned $40 million was fraudulently obtained from more than 300 victims across Ontario. Now, at today's press conference, police actually weren't able to share many details due to a publication ban. They weren't able to tell us how Plachersky found or approached his victims, just that he solicited funds from investors promising massive gains with no losses. Police say those investors became concerned when they couldn't access their money and ultimately they were unable to recover their funds. Some victims have lost hundreds of thousands of dollars. Investigators say many lives have been devastated by this. Police did tell us this was the largest fraud investigation in this region that involved Toronto, York, Halton Police, the OPP, and even U.S. Homeland Security. Here's more from them. With countless interviews conducted and over 40 court orders being sought to gather evidence, this case involved a large large number of victims and required meticulous analysis of thousands of financial documents, which took over 18 months before resulting in the arrest of two parties. Fraud has advanced alongside current technology and has been increasingly uh, more sophisticated over time. It is more important than ever to ensure members of our community take precautions when dealing with financial investments. Now, Plachersky and Murphy have both been uh, charged with fraud over $5,000, and we're told that the maximum sentence for that is 14 years behind bars. This is still a very active investigation. Police say that uh, investors were being solicited as early as February of this year, so they are actually expecting more victims to come forward and help with their investigation. More charges could possibly be laid, and police expect that there are more um Victims out there, their, their message to the public really is if something seems too good to be true, it probably is. Melanie and Faisal, I'll send it back to you. All right, that is our Tina Yazdani. A lot of moving parts in this story. Thank you so much for that. Thank you.